say if you have it in a house of worship or something, you have a bunch of volunteers and you don't want them messing with your um, encoder settings, might as well save the dough, do the panel. Or um, what I think is a good idea, have a panel handy, buy a whole bunch of these and you can switch panels um, between devices. Use a panel to set it up, put the original panel back on and uh, that way no one will be tempted to really um, mess around with it. Okay, installation was successful, great. So, um, before I fire that up, let's take a really quick look at, um, actually no, let's stay with the web presenter. Um, I'm really excited about this little box. And reason being is, because people are always asking, I get so many calls and emails like, well, you know, I want to use WebEx, or I want to use Zoom, or I want to use uh, um, Facebook Live, or I want to use uh, Periscope, or I want to use X, Y, and Z, right? But I don't like the quality of my webcam. I want to use something professional. I have a professional switcher at a studio, you know, and I want it, I want it to look really good, but I want to use these um, consumer social media tools. You know, I want to use my WebEx. I want to use my GoToMeeting. I want to use that sort of thing. What do I do? This is your answer. Regular USB 2.0 cam. What this does is this scales your HD down, right? to 720p 60 or lower so that um, you can stream it over uh, USB 2.0 and it'll work and play nice with uh, those applications. So, you know, you have your SDI in, right? It'll let you loop back out. So if you want to put this in the middle of your chain and say go to something like a uh, recorder, um, your program out so you can see what you're doing um, from your your capture device uh, stereo in and this is the coup de gras uh, line mic in a balanced line mic in that you can use a nice XLR connector and get a nice professional audio connection to your um, conferencing software on your laptop or what have you all right doesn't need anything fancy, doesn't need to be a state-of-the-art machine, it's using USB 2.0. It'll still look great. Here's another thing, another trend that uh, um, Blackmagic has done for several years now. Instead of wasting power cords, right, and adapters and that sort of thing, they just have the standard computer power cable. So whatever country you're in, use those, you know, you've thrown out or recycled tons and tons and tons and tons of computer peripherals and likely our hope you've been keeping the cords. I have baskets and baskets and baskets of cords. None of these items come with cords. If you're starting out from scratch or you've never owned a computer or what have you, for whatever reason you've thrown out all your cables, which is a bit odd, um, I guess you could buy one, we sell them, other resellers sell them, but it does not come with a power cord, right? Use one of the many you have lying around or, you know, when your friend is throwing out that computer, save that power cord and stick it in. That way the other end will be, um, you know, the format that is appropriate for your country. So I just love this. The connections on this are absolutely perfect. Everything that you need on it, um, it is small. It is portable, it's rack mountable, it's affordable, and it would really increase the quality of your online efforts. Um, this is, <laughs> this thing's great too. You know, already comes with a screen, has the familiar VCR type controls, your slots here for your media on the back, all of your professional um, connections, has an ethernet uh, connector on there too for control. Um, probably the first device that um, Blackmagic has shipped with a USB-C connector. Well, that's interesting to note there, right? Of course, you can still gen lock it and loop it out. Uh, again, control, uh, RS-422 port here, so you can use this as a playback device, right? Or, or trigger the record from your ATEM or any other device, even if you have a... Uh, from the 80s, an old Sony AB controller that has RS-422 control. Guess what? You can control this. 
um, SDI out, A and B, and your SDI in. Um, great, marvelous device. So let's let's see what's going on here now with the uh, ATEM Television Studio HD. All right. Let's fire it up here, and um, it should say that it needs updating, but we'll see. Oh, well, I guess it's updated out of the box. That's nice and different. So it looks like I only had to update the software on my my uh, computer. So let's let's see here. Pull back a bit, and. See, yep, yeah, indeed, it is in control of the ATEM. Marvelous. So, <clears throat> let's see what uh, what kind of um, controls it has for us here. Uh, okay, nice. Uh, program row, preview row, transition style. Oh, that, that's something we didn't have on the original television studio, is a DVE. Look at that. That's great. Um, very nice. Media. Not one, but two media players. Um, that, that's really nice. An uh, audio mixer. Uh, eight channels, plus the uh, mic that's on the front. A uh, separate one for the... Uh, for XLR, uh, marvelous. On camera, let's see, it still has the paint controls, yeah. Um, so in keeping with all the other ATEMs. So, I mean, this is marvelous. If you have the right type of studio camera, you have an Ursa Mini, um, you can do all of your paint functions from this. You could also pair this with, of course, um, Scarhoy's device that'll let you control any B4 mount lens um, through their adapter. Uh, this, this is a nice piece of kit for sub-1000. A very, 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 very nice piece of kit. Anyways, this is, um, this is Colin Sandy again with Sandy Audiovisual. We sell these. Um, contact us if you want a discount. Uh, we'll gladly ship these out to you. Um, it's uh, a great-looking device. Oh, one thing. If you... If you if you're trading up, say, from the, the television studio, this will probably be of very um, great interest to you. Let's see if I can find it here. All right, so note in the settings. You may remember that the original television studio could only do 1080i 5994, right? Not this one. Let's, oh, let me go back. Right? Look at that. Yes. You can do a whole bunch of different formats with this one. This is a huge step up. It's not just an incremental step from the original television studio. It is a grand leap forward. Uh, amazing kit. for. <laughs> and look at the form factor. It even comes with a little, little rubber feet if you want to keep it in this form factor. I mean, look. It's just beautiful. You put it in your nap, knapsack, backpack, what have you, and... You can't beat this. Under grand, HDMI and SDI switcher in various formats with integrated buttons, audio control, talk back, lens control, CCU. Wow. I mean, yeah. Let's, let's just say I think uh, Blackmagic hit it out of the ballpark this time. Take care. Again, Colin Sandy with Sandy Audiovisual. Uh, read the comments below. Uh, read the description below. And 